Hi all. Um, welcome to our Per Gottesen review. It's the Autumn Winter 19 menswear show. Um, we have just hopped in the back of the car, run from Per, and we're now waiting outside for the next show. Um, but we thought we'd give a quick review before we um, evacuate. Um, so really exciting show. Um, per always kind of plays with this artisanal effect. Lots of um, handcrafted jewellery, lots of knits, lots of beautiful um, tailoring. Um, and this was exactly that, this but kind of amplified and really given a woof factor. And uh, when we came onto the, the into the Truman Brewery set, there was a massive um, kind of boat structure which had a typical pair of knits hanging off it, kind of glass, some kind of like booze bottles that were a bit melted, um, kind of little tricks and trinkets all hanging from this kind of capsized boat. And then as soon as the model walked out, um, you kind of got the feeling that it was these characters, these individuals were kind of Robinson Crusoe characters or like Swiss Family Robinson and they'd beached ashore and kind of experimented with new things and that's very much what Pa was doing this season, experimenting with um, new collaborations, experimenting with new traditions. Um, most um, kind of really new step for um, Pa, um, so most notably is the Digital Render Jacket which is by Kathy McGee, I want to make sure I get her name right. Um, so she's the founder of Digitoile and they had amazing kind of digital jackets which were huge and really wonderful against this kind of denim trouser or a really slim line trouser. Um, the trousers themselves were really, really varied and each hemline was kind of a challenge. So ev sometimes asymmetric, sometimes completely almost torn, sometimes jagged and that kind of goes back to these kind of explorer boys who have landed on this um, kind of island, ships in a bottle kind of idea. Really beautiful knitwear um, in typical pair kind of style with loops that come around but this kind of felt slightly more sumptuous and in really beautiful tones of kind of autumn-y um, beiges and mustards um, and that mixed with really fun kind of um, muffs that are really new for pair. Um, kind of fleece lined and printed and patterned and those also came in kind of caps and such as well. Really exciting like um, offering for this season from Per actually. You can tell he's playing with lots of different things and he was saying backstage that he dresses for the body, um, which you can really tell with the way everything hugs the model. So the vests, the jackets, um, the trousers, they're so slimline or they're so flared, but there's always an element that's kind of keeping the form in mind. I mean, one would always think that a designer keeps the form in mind, but you can tell that they've been um, using each model's body to kind of work with and really twist and play and it sound I feel like I'm making it sound really chaotic and to a point it was there's lots of different textures lots of different like hemlines trousers lots of different shapes but actually it was so succinct and really really polished and I think Per should definitely continue looking to other people to bring in these amazing jewellery. It's um, Hussam El Ode who does the amazing glass jewellery. It kind of looks like sea glass, you know, when you can get glass on a beach. Um, it's just beautiful. Um, and that's the largest jewellery collection I think they've done. Yeah, it's the biggest. The yeah. Most yeah, come on in, Cal. Oh, <laughs> Join um, the conversation. Just about the sea glass, he did have to mo um, sand it down like sea glass so it didn't stub stab the models in the stomach. They were kind of <laughs> sashes, sashes and, across bare skin and I was laughing with him backstage and I was saying you had to really sound those down because it's obviously a bit dangerous. <laughs> um, it's funny you say boat yeah. for this um, cradle, um, for this thing in the middle because I read it as cradle oh. of all these baby objects and so you saw them as travellers. Yeah. I saw them as I, I guess explorers but only of their bedroom oh. and then they were playing with their parents clothes, hand-me-downs, old clothes, all of these things. Which also totally works yeah. with Per's like, mentality. Yeah, but it's so funny because actually Georgia and I weren't sitting together at this show so we didn't, we actually haven't conversed about it. So it's <laughs> yeah. funny that cause you, because nice. both now you saying it, I totally see what you mean. But I was, yeah, I was reading these childlike explorers that had tried, you know, there was a, there was a large pair of trousers that had one of the one-sided braces. So imagine a pair of braces keeps the trousers up. These were huge trousers with a, just one big black brace like that. Um, that and the model wasn't wearing underwear in them and it just showed a slit just down here down by his thigh and it was incredibly you know, sensual and sexual mm. but very innocent it wasn't showing any kind of part um, part of the body that seems to be sexual so I thought there was quite there was that interesting dichotomy between when 
a teenager or a young adult starts to understand their sexuality and understand what their body means and how to play with it, that also was felt in like me meshed up tops that had big cutouts. So you could, there was a big V down here so you could yeah. see the nipple. That's not, this part of the body isn't a particularly sexualized part of the body, but it's very sensual. Um, and it's actually something, sensuality is something we've seen a lot last season in menswear. Yeah, that's Not true. to say this was last season, but it's just, it seems to be interesting the menswear designers as the male body as sensual, not sexual, because it's, I mean, massive generalisation, but it has been, the male body can sometimes be over-aggressed yeah. and be represented as a very aggressive thing. Yeah. They're trying to take, strip that back, I feel, has been on the designers' minds for a while now. That's true, that's true. It's interesting, actually, because that whole child play kind of, it, in some sense, Per was literally just experiment. well, not literally, just experimenting with um, new contributors, new textiles, new ways of doing things. They, they worked, um, I think Kathy worked purely digital, um, so some clothes were literally just dig digitally d designed, which is incredible, but completely new for Per, mm. and much like this kind of childlike scape that we're describing you kind of do experiment being like oh is this sexy does this look good yeah. like shall i pull this up here or like maybe my hips are like raunchy thing to have out mm. or maybe i'll tuck my trousers in this time or maybe i'll tear my hems like it's kind of about learning who you are or wear my jeans inside out with some exactly of oh, i love that look that yeah. was so fantastic there's a really great you could just see all the seams from the jeans inside out i think they'd put in some extras as well yeah. it was really fantastic it was really exciting. Yeah, a really good show. Yes. Hooray! Right. We, well, we've got another, we've got Zander now, yes, who I think should be another very good show, but it isn't about two minutes. So, so we, we must have dash. To sign off. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, Thanks everyone. For watching.